This is Dr. Anina Abraham from Advanced Retina Care. I'm going to talk about retinal holes. There are two types of retinal holes based on their location. One is in the center of the retina, it's called a macula hole. In this type of hole, vision drops because it affects the center of the retina. You will know about it. But there is another type of hole which is hiding in the periphery of the retina. It is called a peripheral retinal hole. These are the dangerous ones because you won't even know that you have the hole and you could end up having a retinal detachment. This is the reason why people need to check up their retina once a year because anyone can have a retinal hole. Now, this is commonly seen in young people who have had uh, glasses all their lives. Myopia is a very common cause for thinning of the retina in the periphery and this thin area eventually gives way and causes a hole there. Now what happens if you can if you have this hole? You won't have any symptoms but eventually the vitreous which is the jelly inside the eye if it starts becoming liquid it starts going behind this hole and detaches the retina from its position separates the retina that's what we call a retinal detachment. That's why it's important to screen all these retinal holes and treat them on time. How do you treat a retinal hole? It's a very simple procedure called barrage laser. In this procedure, laser beams are passed and the area around the hole is treated, photocoagulated, so that it actually scars around that area. You're forming a fence around that area. So retinal detachment does not happen. Now, Macular hole is treatable only with surgery. You need to operate it and close that hole. And a tamponade like oil or gas is injected. And most of the time, macular holes do well if they're operated early. If you wait for years and years, the vision may not come back. Now, even macular holes can end up having a retinal detachment. So it is important to get these operated as well.